Rosanna, come on. All I'm asking is for you to put a roof over our heads. Give us a little bit of food, and then we'll be out of your hair as soon as possible. I promise. You promise? Yes. How many promises have you broken oh, to Rosanna, me come in the past? On. No, you come on. I came here to start my life over. I deserve that. And I'm not going to give it all up to get involved in your drama. And you used to say that you loved what you called then my unpredictability. Well, we were very different people back then, but I have been through a lot, and some of it's been because of you. So if you could just leave me alone, just let me have a little peace. I, I get it. I... Ah, <sighs> yeah, peace. If Eliza and I had a place where we had no problems and no worries, I wouldn't let anybody jeopardize that. I would never let anybody take that away from us. Thank you for understanding. I do. I understand. Eliza, she's going to be mad at you for the rest of her life, but... Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, Paul. For good, this time. Hey, is she okay? Why is she crying? It's not that she's probably just hungry, you know? It's been a, a while since lunch, isn't that right, Eliza? Do you have a bottle for her? Well, there's some left of the bottle that you were so generous in giving me before. Give me the bottle. Okay. I'll fill it up. Yeah, she's probably just on a growth spurt, you know, because she's just, she's eating more with, with every feeding. Don't say I never did anything for you. Okay. <laughs> Look, do you mind if I just uh, feed her here? Because, you know, the car is all the way over there. She's, she's, she's obviously starving. I don't suppose that would do any harm. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> she really is hungry. Yeah, I know. Look at her. She eats like a wrestler. In fact, she's going to grow up to be a sumo wrestler with a PhD, of course, because she's strong and she's smart and she's just so beautiful. She's so beautiful. You want to hold her? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to disturb her. You wouldn't be disturbing her, not at all. Edna, hi. Um, I was just wondering if I uh, could take your shift today, and then maybe we could switch over tomorrow to get the schedule back on track. That's fine with me. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, just somebody I knew from before. He stopped by to say hello, and his baby started fussing, so he's feeding her. What? There's something about him I don't like. Right. Listen, don't worry, okay? Um, he'll be gone soon. One of the members of the co-op. It was her shift, but I'm I'm taking it today. Just one big happy family around here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice to be a part of a community where people actually enjoy helping each other out. Really? Didn't think a place like that existed. I can understand why you feel so safe here. Would you please just let us stay? Paul, you promised. I know, but I'm asking you to reconsider. For my daughter's sake. You must think I'm an idiot. No, I don't think you're an idiot. Oh, really? You're using every trick in the book? Trying to get me to hold your daughter. Uh, talking about old times. What are you trying to prove? I'm trying to prove that you are not as disconnected from your past as you would like to think that you are. Because the Rosanna that I know would never let an innocent child come in harm's but way. Do you mind? Stop 
trying to make me feel like I'm a heartless person for not trying to help your daughter. I can see that you love her, yes, okay? I, I can tell do. that you're devoted to I her. I would do anything on earth to keep her happy and healthy. That's why she needs to stay with me. Well, then let her stay with you, but she can't stay here, okay? I'm not letting all of your confusion and chaos back into my I'm life. I'm not asking you to. Well, you don't have to even ask me to because it's just surrounds you. Chaos follows you everywhere you go. Even a complete stranger like Edna could what? pick up on it. What did it. she say? Nothing. She said nothing, okay? She just sensed a vibe. Now, please. I'm putting my whole life here in jeopardy with you just being here. Please leave. All right, you know what? I understand. I do. I don't want to, but I do. Listen, if you, if you need milk or food or anything like that, I would be happy to give you plenty, everything that you need, but you have it's to leave cop. after that. Oh, well, that's just Len. He comes Len. here every day around this Yeah, time. I don't care. He's a cop. I need to get out of here or I need to hide. Is there someplace I can hide? Um, yeah, g give me her. Um, just go over there and pretend like you're doing something useful. Hey, Len. <laughs> it's good to see you. You're looking well. Well, it looks mean anything, you're doing mighty fine yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Who's a baby? That's, uh, Edna's granddaughter. Isn't she a cutie? I, uh, had fun at the movies last week. Oh, thank you. So did I. Hmm. That was great. Would you, uh, care to join me for another tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, um... You know what? I have community hours. I've got to catch up on tomorrow, but I would love to. Um, can you give me a call next week? I will do just that. All right. Thanks, Lynn. I'm looking forward to it. <sighs> thank you. Don't thank me. I have no idea why I just did that. I just want you to be straight with me, okay? Why would a court return Eliza to Meg if, if they've already declared Meg an unfit mother? Well, Meg claims that I might have manipulated the situation a little bit, that I, that I, I may have lied to uh, make her seem unfit. Is there any truth in that? The only truth is that Meg does not deserve to have custody of our little girl. Because... She's not the person you thought she was? Because I thought that Meg and I were very happy, but it turns out that I was just buying whatever fairy tale I needed to believe in because in the end, she betrayed me with Dusty. So you're saying that after she cheated on Craig with you, she cheated on you with Dusty. I'm, I'm shocked, Paul. Are you? Yeah, I was... Uh, I was a little angry when I found out. I went a little nuts. I admit it. I was a little crazy. I, I spent I spent some time in a padded cell. And, oh, Paul. Uh, oh. No, I'm fine now. But after we started to split up, we started to fight over custody. And do you know what Meg did then? She tried to make it impossible for me to have a relationship with my own little girl. Why would she do that? I don't know. She insisted that I have supervised visits, like I was some kind of twisted freak who, would, who couldn't be trusted to spend time with his own little girl, and I couldn't, I couldn't stand that. Oh. Well, then what did you do? What? I, I, I pulled some strings. What kind of strings? I... Well, maybe some money changed hands. Which resulted in Meg being declared unfit? And now she's figured out a way to fight back, which is why I can't let the police find me. Because you kidnapped Eliza. No! I couldn't let... Meg, take my daughter away from me. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't let that happen. All I have ever wanted is a family. I know. And, no, Meg. She and I, you know, we were going to do that. I was going to have a life with Meg. She and I and our little girl. I know how much you wanted that, Paul. Probably more than anybody else. Yeah, well, she's made that impossible now, okay? So you want to blame somebody for what's happening? You blame Meg. Look, even... Even if it's true, I... Uh, why should I do anything more to help you? Because you owe me. <laughs>